cross chain. Here's what's up. The definition of cross-chain is it describes activity that takes place between two independent blockchains. It's actually super easy. All it means is that cross-chain implementations are utilized through interactions between two blockchain networks where their code base is standardized, called isomorphic and heterogeneous chain systems. Like I said, it's super easy. What the f I'm just kidding, I don't even know what I said. All this means is that two different blockchain systems can talk and interact with each other. In most cases, the blockchain systems need to utilize similar protocols. But why is that important, you might ask? Blockchains have languages to them, just like humans do. If one blockchain speaks English, but the other speaks Spanish, cross-chain becomes really hard to do without a shared protocol between them. Come again? <laughs> You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. It is possible, but usually requires a middleman, a go-between used to negotiate communications. True cross-chain systems don't need this. They cut out the middleman. Pushing out all the middlemen. What's really gonna bake your noodle later on is that sometimes entire blockchains act as a middleman between two blockchains that can't talk to each other and does that in a decentralized way. At the end of the day though, cross-chain is just a word for two independent blockchains working together, exchanging value and data. Cross-chain, that's what's up. You're watching the video channel of Market Square, the new homepage for the decentralized web. Follow us and subscribe, join our Discord, and get your free account at marketsquare.io. See you next time.